to even a letter writing campaign in the past. Community members begging the state to keep it open. The William S. Key Correctional Center, but the news broke yesterday. It will close. We spoke to a state rep from the area who says this is going to have a ripple effect across several towns. 139 jobs and that affects 400 and some family members. Fort Supply is a small community and, and it's not like Oklahoma City. Nobody's going to just going to drive down the road, a, a, you know, a few miles and find another job. You got all sorts of emotion. You got anger. You got frustration because it's just like it's happened and you can't do anything about it. State Rep Carl Newton says there are many impacts of the prison shutting down from economic. The ripple effect you mentioned is huge because, you know, generally a local dollar or turn over seven times before it leaves the area. To school attendance, even the hospital in Buffalo where inmates go to receive treatment. The fact that the Buffalo Hospital is going to be losing that income from the state is going to be a great burden on them. Newton tells us folks come from towns nearby to earn a paycheck at the prison. you got people that come in there from Woodward, Laverne, <laughs> Buffalo, Fort Supply. They plan on staying there. They want to stay in the community. The community took pride in take, making sure they did a good job. And so that's what makes it even harder. And because it's minimum security, the inmates are able to take on different tasks. The prison had a farm program. There's a mental health facility very near there and, I, and, the, and a historical site there near there. And I know that the Department of Corrections helped on maintenance on both of those um, too. It was one of the heartbeats of the community. The DOC says they plan to close it by the end of the year because the cost of upkeep and repair is just too much. Meanwhile, the state rep we spoke to, uh, Newton there, says he, even the governor, will be trying to find something else to go into the facility to repurpose it and hopefully employ some of those Oklahomans again. Guys, back to you.